okay so the the last thing you want to do when working on your dissertation for example or in any document that has several pages as you can see presently i have 21 pages in my document is to um, manually generate your table of is to manually go into typing um decline is on page this the education is on this page that's the last thing you really want to do to do that is to put yourself into big trouble because at the end of the day you will need to keep checking and keep updating it and you will run into problems and but there's a very simple way to do it is to automatically generate your table of content and microsoft word has a simple way where you can generate your table of content automatically now but to do that the first thing you need to do is to understand how styles work now this i want to call styles styles is the backbone of generating your table of content and you need to understand how they work you need to create them properly and then we can generate our table of content now the first thing you can see if you come to this left side where i am is my navigation now this just shows you the different kind of styles that you have already in your documents now these are high level styles these are heading one as you can see here heading one styles we have heading two styles and we can create more styles if you like if you click on this more option you see all the different kinds of styles that you have i'll come back here shortly um let me just explain what you have here to you now on this left panel you have your navigation to your document so you don't need to scroll down and keep scrolling and keep scrolling and keep scrolling all you need to do is jump to where you are going chapter four if i want to check my references i just need to jump to my references and then it keeps going this is also automatically generated you don't need to do anything um just in case you cannot find this in your own document let's assume this is what your own document looks like and you can't find it you need to do is in your home tab make sure you're in your home tab look at this document this thing called find and just click find then it takes it out now but is in the results panel so once you go to the this panel you have it generated if you have style so i'll teach you how to create those styles then you have it now pages just shows you page by page page by page but this may not really be useful you still need to scroll and scroll and scroll headings is much more useful for you now so let's look at how headings now the first thing you will see every time i click on any of these high level words that are here you see this showing heading one so oh sorry so if i come to dedication and i click dedication you can see heading one if i come down here it goes back if I go to management, you see it in heading one. If I click down, it's in normal. So for any of these things, you'll keep seeing them. They are all heading one. And you will notice this little um, arrow just beside it showing you that there's a heading there. Now, so how do we do we do that? Now, um, in your styles, you should have some preset styles there for you already at least four styles should be there in yours you should have normal you should have chapter one heading one you should have heading two and you should have a heading three somewhere now if you are not finding any of that in your own like i am not finding my heading three we'll create heading three and then i will show you just how to create it it's so very simple now so let's just create um now for the heading one if yours is not showing all you need to do is highlight let's assume this this is how your document is originally so what you need to do is to highlight your heading one just highlight it now format it whichever way you want to format your high level um chapter the the titles or the chap the titles of your pages now chapter one for example let's assume you want it to be times new roman you want times new roman but you want it to be point 0.14 say 14 for example you need 
to be bold and you want it to be in the center now whichever way you want to do it you are free to do it if you want it at the left hand side it's okay. fine whichever way just make sure you pick any of the one of them and format it like that so if i say i want it to the center um times new roman 14 i want it bold i want it at the center now once you have done then come to heading one and right click on heading one and say update heading one to match selection when you do this then it matches heading one so the next thing to do is to go to all of your heading one just click anywhere on it and click heading one anywhere on it and click heading one now you're not seeing any difference because i chose exactly the same format so let's assume i want it on the left so i can do this and say go to the left and then i come to update heading one match selection now once i come here you can see that all of them with heading one has gone back to the left with heading one okay now the next thing i want to do is i'm now in my chapter one my heading two my, now my heading two will be my 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 2.1 2 2.2 .2, all of to be heading two heading three will be something like 2.1 1.2.3 with 3 that's heading 3 so heading 2 what I want to do is to format this style to heading 2 so I highlight this and do whatever I want to do with it now so let me change it to Times New Roman and increase the font size to 12 and let's make it bold okay but let's leave it at the left side now, once you have done, you have done that. What did I say is the next thing to do? Come to heading two, right click on it, and say update heading two to match selection. Now, once you have done that, one thing you will notice is that right on this navigation, it has included your heading two there as well. So you have your background to the study also right there. Now, so go through your document and let's go and look for all heading twos. Now this is another heading to objectives of the study. So to do is to come here and click that. It changes it to match this, and then you can see also showing here. Let's go back and find another heading two. This is another heading two. Just click heading two. This is another heading two right here. One point three. Come here. heading two. Another heading to 1.4, heading to, and chapter conclusion, heading to. Good. Now, so you can see in your navigation, you can jump to chapter one, this, jump to this, jump to structure, and any of them you have formatted. Now, the next thing you want to do is for your heading three. Now somehow my heading 3 is showing i don't know how that happens but don't worry i will still show you how to create a new um a new style in case you're heading 3 but usually you should have heading 1 heading 2 and heading 3 so let's go to heading 3 and let's format our heading 3 whichever way we want okay so again let's come to times new roman and put this to 11 um let's make it bold but let's indent it so that we can let's just indent it by one this is where i did that indenting now so with this um what do i do come to heading three right click and update heading three to match selection now like the other one see it's already created in your navigation panel now we have not created our table of content this is just navigation for your do would create content but we need to create all of those to generate your table of content now so let's do for all our heading three and select them so this is another heading three so what you need to do is click on 1.1.2 and click heading three it formats it 
three heading that's all and in my document that's all that i have now so successfully we have um, generated our chapter one our heading one heading two and example of heading three now if you have heading four um you would be able to do exactly the same one i think i get what is happening now so once i created my heading two it gave me the option for heading three and now it has given me the option for heading four so don't worry if you don't see your heading three yet create your heading two and your heading three should show up just immediately afterwards now let's go and create our table of content now you need to know that when creating your table of content um whatever whatever you find here is going to appear in your table of content whatever. so whatever you don't see in your navigation will not show in your table of content but once you see it in your navigation then it's going to show in your table of content let me just quickly remove this I just typed it there for my navigation app. Okay. Now, so like I was saying, whatever you don't find in your navigation will not show in your content. So permit me to change this back to center. Okay. Update heading one. So all my heading ones are now in my center. So when I come to my content and I want to generate my table of content what do i need to do now go to references tab and click references tab and on that table of content you see table of content so if you click it now so you have the options table of content at the top content table of content with all of these now i usually prefer to use this first one so the other thing you need to take note of before we do this is to ensure that you already have paged your your document properly whichever way you want to page it you have already put page numbers to it in a previous tutorial i already showed how to add different styles of page numbers you can check for that um how to do that but here you just want to add our table of content automatic so just come to table of content and click this and then your table of content is generated automatically now you may choose to take this away i just click it cancel now so this is your table of contents now the beauty of this is that it generates exactly whatever is found in your document whatever is found in your document is generated with the pages and everything okay now um you can click it you can see it says control click to follow so if i press my control i can click it and it goes to my page so if i come back to my content page and i control and click jumps to my chapter 2 literature review now when you see this you discover that have moved up here to page six and this has moved here now so we want to correct that um let's shift let's shift to the next page so list of tables is now on page seven list of figures is now eight but if you check your content this is still on page list of figures is seven this is the beauty of generating it automatically um if you did that man this will cause a whole hell of problems for you and you need to manually to start change you check each one you go and change it page but with this it becomes very easy so all you need to do is click anywhere in your table of content and click update table and then you say update entire table okay and then you can see that it has updated it list of tables is now on page page seven and list of figures is on page eight now so that's a very simple way to walk around basically generating a table of content now let's assume while you you generated your table of content you discovered any mistake here now be, be careful not to change anything from here 
like a and changing it to f if you see any mistake here i want you to know that your your table of content is only a, a reflection of whatever you have in your document if you find any error in your content don't touch it here just go to where it is if you find your abstract has a problem abstract and correct it so if i change it to abstract for example then i will back to my content and simply do what so if i click update update entire table then i have my abstracts here so please as much as possible try not to change anything here if at any point you find any mistake at this point go to where it is the document correct it and then go back to update content so in this tutorial i showed you how to work with your staff and how to generate your table of content now i wanted to show you briefly how to um create a new style um which we will use in the next tutorial where i'll be dealing with how to automatically add um table of figures and list of tables now if you want to create a new style all you need to do is create a style and call it let's say let's call it figures then click modify so figures i like to use normal in style based on normal for my figures and i format it here times new roman 11 a color automatic which is black i like it to be either on the left or at the center for my figures that's all you need to do then you can click automatically update just format it whichever you want if you want it in .5, you want it indented just format it whichever way if you want more control on formatting um you can come to format and click paragraph for example um spacing all of those kind of things but you may not need this all you need to do is just do this um figures and click ok now so you will see that we've created new figures but what you will discover is that your chapter one has changed to figures so not a problem just click it and click heading one and it goes back to your heading one now so that's how to create figures um, in the next tutorial i will show you how to generate your um automatically your list of for your document and your list of for your document okay thank you very much